Welcome along. We begin our roundup of week 38 at the Parc des Princes, where French champions Paris Saint-Germain were looking to round out the season in style against Reims. Edinson Cavani put the Capital Club ahead in the 31st minute before Adrian Rabio fired home to make it 2-0 on the stroke of half-time. Well, Rance did pull a goal back just after the restart. Aissa Mondi nodding in his sixth goal of the season after fine work from Franck Signorino. However, Paris Saint-Germain restored their two-goal cushion six minutes from time. A long ball from David Luiz for Ezekiel Levetzi, who picked out El Matador in the middle. Goal at number 18 for Cavani. And Gray John at Kier grabbed a late consolation goal for Rance, but it finished at 3-2. Paris are setting a new club record of nine consecutive wins in Ligue 1. They also finished the domestic season unbeaten at the Parc des Princes. And a perfect send-off for Zumana Camera, the most decorated player in Paris Saint-Germain history with nine titles. The Capital Club celebrating their third successive title and fifth overall. They are the 2014-2015 French champions. Well, Leon also rounded out the campaign with a win away to Rennes. Clinton and G scored the game's only goal four minutes from time after a wonderful long ball from captain Maxime Gonelon. The Cameroonian beating Sylvain Armand for pace before slipping home his seventh goal of the campaign. It finished at 1-0. Leon may be joined in the UEFA Champions League by Monaco, who wrapped up third place away to Lorient. Yannick Carrasco with the game's only goal in the 20th minute. Anthony Martial later missed a penalty for the visitors. That game also finishing 1-0. So Marseille have to settle for the Europa League in spite of making short work of Bastia at the Stade Velodrome. Dimitri Payet put the hosts in front in the 14th minute, turning at Guillaume Gillet inside out before firing home. The second goal arrived shortly before half-time. An attempt from Jeremy Morel turned into his own net by Alexandra Jiku. Or Lucas Acampos saved the best till last, slicing through the Bastia defence a minute from time. A wonderful individual goal to wrap up a 3-0 win. So Marseille finish in fourth place, while Bastia dropped to 12th. Well, Saint-Etienne are also heading back to the Europa League after finishing fifth in the table. They took the lead against Gangon through who else but Max Alain Gradel. Scoring here in the 36th minute after being set up by Johan Molo. And just after the restart, it was Kevin Monet-Pake who pulled across the area as Gradel made it 2-0. That's now 13 goals in his last 12 games and 17 for the season overall. Claudio Beauvieu did pull one back from the penalty spot for his 17th of the campaign, but it finished 2-1. Now Bordeaux christened their new stadium with a 2-1 win over Montpellier. Diego Roland, who scored the last goals at the Stade at Chaban del Mas, picked up where he left off, putting the hosts ahead on nine minutes. Well, he then added a second goal just before half-time after Clément Chantôme's shot was blocked. Goal at number 15 of the campaign for the Uruguayan. Montpellier did pull a goal back shortly after the hour mark. Kevin Berigo is setting up Jamel Bakar two minutes after he came off the bench, but it finished 2-1. And Lille struck three times in four minutes to stun Mess at the Stade at San Symphorian. Florent Balmont made it 1-0 five minutes before half-time after being set up by Sofiane Buffal. Buffal was also at the origin of the second goal. This time Adrissa Gay firing in from the edge of the area. There was some comedy defending from Mess, allowing Nolan Roux to fire in a third. And Roux then added the fourth goal in the second half from the penalty spot. It was time for a late Mess consolation goal. Jose Luis Palomino with his first league on goal. 4 1 it finished. Nice needed only eight minutes to take the lead away to Toulouse. Neil Mope with his first goal of the season after being set up by Carlos Eduardo. And the Brazilian was also the assist provider for the second goal. A cool finish here from Eric Bosiak after a brilliantly worked counter-attack. And a pick of the bunch was this free kick from Bosiak early in the second half. 
wonderful strike to make it 3-0. Toulouse finally woke up in the last 10-15 minutes of the game. Wissam Ben Yedder stabbing home his 14th of the campaign after a defensive mix-up. And then a well-taken goal from Oscar Trejo. The final score, 3-2. Caen took the lead at home to Evie Anton on Gaia through Hervé Bazil. His sixth goal of the season, a fine low finish. And a few minutes later, Modu Sugu nodded the ball into his own net to put the hosts 2-0 up. Bazil all but ended the game as a contest with the pick of the bunch in the 69th minute. A lovely lob there to make it 3-0 to Caen. Captain Olivier Sorlan pulled one back for Evian. His first league and goal since back in December 2011. And Sugu scored at the right end, deep in stoppage time. But this one also finished 3-2. And finally, Lance claimed their first win since back on March the 14th at home to Nantes. Pablo Chavaria with the game's only goal in the fourth minute. And relegated Lance going out with a bang. All the results from this 38th and final week with 32 goals scored. Wins for the top six sides, including that record ninth consecutive victory for PSG. And Monaco taking three points at Lorient to secure third place. So PSG end up eight points clear of Lyon at the top with the championship's best attack. Lyon join them in the group stages of the Champions League, while Monaco will have to go through qualifying. Marseille and Saint-Étienne into the Europa League, where they could be joined by Bordeaux. Well, meanwhile, two of last season's promoted sides, Mess and Lance, head back to Ligue 2 along with Evian. Thank you very much for joining us here on YouTube throughout the season. Do tune in again in August when the 2015-2016 campaign gets underway.